What is going on, you guys? I'm three days post-op. I had peri areolar with Dr. Scott Mosser in San Francisco, California, and I wanted to just talk about my experience real quick. I'm all wrapped up. I have drains, so nothing really exciting, but I'll show you my drains. Um, I can't really tell if this is like bruising or if it's just like the shit that they put on me. I don't really know. So, my experience so far, it hasn't been terrible. I haven't had any complications. The main thing is I've been having like back issues, I think from this brace and then just kind of being hunched, you know, it's like when you have surgery on your chest, your body's not wanting to stay straight up. So I'm kind of been hunched a little bit and just having to like, when you sleep, like you're having to lay on your back. So my back's just all kinds of sore. So it's funny that it's not actually my chest that's like in pain, it's more my back. But even that, I wouldn't say it's even pain. It's just overall, it's just all discomfort. Like the, the word that I use most is just, it's discomfort, it's uncomfortable, it's not pain. You know, having this tight thing around your chest is no bueno, so. The pain meds that I have been taking, I've been literally taking them because my back is just killing me. So that's the only kind of negative right now. As far as my drains, I don't really feel the drains. Obviously the drains are like, they're just like sticking out, you know what I mean? So I can't even go out in public because it just makes this big lump in my shirt. But you don't feel the drains like in your armpits. You know, you don't, I just try not to think about it either that, you know, I have like a hole in my armpit that a drain is coming out of. I just try not to think about that. I just thought about that. But I, you don't, you don't feel it. I don't feel it. It's not, that's not uncomfortable. Yeah, the surgery just in general, it went really, it went really well. I'll kind of just sort of paint this picture the best way that I can. I got to the doctor's office and um, the first nurse kind of talked to me, had me sign some papers. I had to get into my little gown. She gave me some Valium. To, to ease the nerves, it just helps like calm you. And um, just kind of played the waiting game in there for a while. She came back and then set up the IV. That that didn't really hurt, but whenever I, I always kind of, and this is when I get my blood drawn too, I always get very lightheaded. So when she, when she put the IV in initially, I got super lightheaded and she's just talking to me and I feel like I'm just going like white in the face. I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. She's like, are you okay? I was like, I'm a little lightheaded, but that just happens. It only took like a few minutes that I was lightheaded and then it kind of wore off and I was fine. But so anyway, so yeah, she set up the IV. I was Gucci, sat there for a while, had whatever was pumping in there, pumping in there. And then another nurse came in, asked me some questions. The anesthesiologist came in, asked me some questions. You know, everyone kind of takes their turn. Uh, the doctor came in, marked me up. And then after a while in there, I was off to the operating room. I walk in and like the different nurses are like patting me on the back and like I'm like what the fuck I'm almost just like laughing at this point they get me on the table and I get it they're trying to make you feel really comfortable I mean the music is like really like elevator music just like very soothing and I'm thinking in my head like this is not soothing like to me like I'm I like I was sitting there while everyone was like trying to make me comfortable like sitting at staring at these lights above me and you know, as everyone's kind of prepping me and whatnot, um, and I could tell, I could tell that the um, anesthesia was kicking in because I felt myself kind of getting like, okay, 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 okay. But the whole time I'm like, oh my god, like what am I doing? Like what am I getting myself into? I'm like it's just, it was just a funny. To me, it was funny until I was out, <laughs> and the next thing I know, I'm, I was awake and being force fed apple juice and animal crackers. The nice thing with me is what I was kind of hoping didn't happen, which didn't happen. I didn't get nauseous. I didn't like throw up. A lot of times people can get kind of queasy and nauseous from coming off the anesthesia. So that did not happen. And that hadn't happened even after and since today. So that's a good thing. I kind of waited around till my mom was able to come around to the front and pick me up and I was wheeled down and got in the car and went home. So my experience to today, being three three days post-op, I've been chilling. I've more so just been like really bored because I'm just sitting here binge watching Netflix, um, you know, being going on YouTube, napping, just kind of eating. It sucks I can't really work out or 
do anything active, so that kind of sucks, but you just gotta get through it. I'm just like focused on the end game. Things I do have difficulty with, I obviously you can't lift your arms very much, so like, you know, you kind of have your T-Rex arms, and so I only try to do like this motion, try not to like reach, but more so just here and grabbing stuff like here. Um, you know, trying to avoid using my muscles as much as possible. And sometimes it's hard, like opening the fridge is kind of tough because you can feel it pull. It's kind of amazing how much you realize like how important certain body parts are. Yeah, I didn't realize how much like I needed, you know, certain muscles to just even open the fridge or push down the toaster. Like I had to push down the toaster thingy with my toe because I'm like, I couldn't, couldn't do it. I mean, and, and if I did, I would strain myself, and I didn't want to do that, so. Um, other than that, that's just sort of where I'm at right now. No pain, I'm not in pain, everything's pretty smooth. I, I wouldn't say, to anybody who's like scared it's gonna be painful, this is just my, this is just my opinion, and I, maybe I just have a high pain, more of a high pain tolerance, but nothing about the surgery is painful. It's just, it's it's uncomfortable. It's, that's it, That's all. It's, it's an uncomfortable feeling. And you, you gotta know that if that's gonna be the case. You're not gonna be bounced back right away. So three more days and I will get my drains out. I'll still probably be wrapped up, but I will definitely keep posted with that. If you haven't seen my face before, this is my face. Like, comment, subscribe, because obviously it's free and I love free shit. So do that and I'm gonna keep you posted and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Deuces. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,